Hey guys, it's Crystal, the founder of Bold Culture Beauty, a two-time award-winning blog and your first stop when you're looking to simplify your natural hair routine. Today, we're taking a closer look at pre-pulling. We are all in search of ways to unlock the secrets to a successful wash day. But when it comes to wash day, have you really evaluated your routine? How efficient are you on wash day and what things could you forego to make it easier? When it comes to wash day, it should contain these four things. Cleanse, condition, detangle, and style. We tend to be very creative when it comes to our wash day routines and the things that we're willing to endure, all in the name of beautiful hair. When it comes to deciding what's necessary, you should consider if the things you are doing have results that are based in facts or that are based on widespread opinion. If we took the time to really evaluate the things that we're doing, I have a feeling that we'd be very surprised. This week, we're taking a closer look at the practice of pre-pooling, evaluating its benefits and determining if and when it's necessary. So grab a friend and grab a pen and let's take a closer look at pre-pooling. Okay, so first things first. The first question, if you don't already know, is what is a pre-poo? Well, a pre-poo historically was not a single product, but maybe a combination of products or oils or butters that people would apply to their hair prior to the, sh prior to the shampoo process. And then you're probably wondering, well, is it effective? And the goal of a pre-poo was to help prevent your hair from losing any moisture and the natural oils that many people thought your hair would lose during the shampoo process. And so historically people would put conditioners, um, oils or butters or a combination of these products on their hair in hopes that it would help their hair to retain moisture um, that they might lose during shampooing. And while in theory this sounded great, the reality is there are some reasons why this process may not have been effective. Number one, heavy products like oils and butters and conditioners that contain these heavy products are usually occlusive agents. And while they may do a great job of sealing in some moisture into the hair strand, they also do a very good job of making a barrier between your hair and water. So during the shampoo process, while you may get the look and feel of healthy hydrated hair initially, in reality, you were lacking the actual hydration or water that you would need for your hair to remain healthy. Another issue was that these heavier products also um, contributed to product buildup. These items were not easily dissolved in water, and over time, they would leave a film on the hair that would contribute to product buildup, which would lead to dryness of hair and even damage. And then thirdly, your hair and scalp will probably still be dirty. So because these items were not easily dissolved in water, you would need a stronger shampoo to actually adequately remove them from your scalp and hair. And naturals that were taking the time to actually pre-poo their hair were probably not using a shampoo strong enough to adequately remove these oils and butters from the hair prior um, during the shampoo process. So in essence, they were adding more product to their hair that led to product buildup and not adequately washing it away, which would lead to hair and scalp that was buried under a lot of dirt, debris, and products. So while pre-pulling initially may give you the look and feel of healthy hydrated hair, over time, if you're not adequately cleansing your hair and scalp um, after using these products, then the risk for your hair would actually be greater than the benefits. Okay, so I'm guessing you're probably wondering if a pre-poo is actually necessary. And so a big misconception in the natural hair community has been that all shampoos are harsh and damaging to our natural hair. And this is not exactly true. So historically, before wearing our natural hair had been so popular, the most commonly available shampoos were those that contained sulfates. And these stronger cleansers, if not used appropriately and too frequently, did have the tendency to dry and damage all hair. 
but now we live in an era where more and more women are wearing their hair naturally and hair companies are creating products that meet all of our hair care needs many of the shampoos that are on the market now do not contain sulfates and so if you select a product that meets your specific hair care needs and use it appropriately then that would eliminate the perceived need of a pre-poo now you're probably thinking, well, are there any situations where a pre-poo might be helpful? And honestly, I could really only think of a few situations where you might want to use a pre-poo. And one of these is if you've had your hair in a protective style for an extended period of time where you couldn't adequately cleanse, condition, and detangle your hair. In this situation, it may be beneficial to detangle your hair using a water-soluble product prior to shampooing. This would actually help to decrease the friction between the hair strands, could possibly prevent you from excess hair loss, and would prevent the hair from locking once you begin to shampoo it. The key to pre-pooing this way is finding a product that is easily cleansed from the hair, finding a shampoo that meets your cleansing needs, and only pre-pooing this way when it is absolutely necessary. If you select the right shampoos that meet your hair care needs, use them consistently and appropriately, and don't go extended periods without adequately cleansing and detangling your hair, then you should eliminate the need for a pre-poo at all. And the good news is, your marathon wash day has just gotten shorter. Well guys, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. For more great information on how to simplify your hair care routine, make sure you visit us at boldculture.com. And while you're there, grab a copy of my latest ebook, Simple Steps to Healthy Natural Hair Care, which is now available on Amazon Prime and Kindle Unlimited. And until next week, go boldly.